This is mind blowing. The new CapCut AI video maker takes faceless video creation to a whole new level and it's totally free. Well, for now. Before we continue, let me show you what I was able to create using this very tool. Here's my simple morning fitness routine. First, I like to warm up with five minutes of jumping jacks, high knees, and butt kicks. What makes Superman the best superhero is his unwavering hopefulness, even when things are bad. All right, guys, let's get started. So I'm in Finland and it's only available on the web version. I'll leave a link down there below to check it out. I would recommend using Google Chrome. It works perfect with that. So when you go to the interface, you're going to see something like this. This is the one we're going to use, Free AI Video Maker. Just click on that. It's going to take you to this very window. This side is when you want to start everything from scratch. And this side looks like a template that's going to take you instantly to create the videos. So I'm going to walk you guys through this side before we jump onto this very side I use to create the videos you saw earlier on. When you go to instant AI video, just click on that. This is going to create instant videos using images. So right here, when you look at the style, you can select one of them. You can scroll to this side and select any of them. So far, I kind of like Roman art and also prehistoric. I'm more into that. So I'm going to select that. Then if you want the aspect ratio to be 916, if you're planning to post on TikTok or Instagram, you can choose this. But if you want it to YouTube, you can select this. I'm going to go for 9 by 16 then this is the good part you can either bring in your script by selecting this and bringing it from chat gpt but this is an all-in-one so you don't really need to bring it from chat you can go to generate script and you can give it a topic and also some key points you want it to show and it's going to create for you so this is the prompt i'm going to use i want to show people what roman suggests it back in the days then when you come down here we have the voiceovers you can select from when you click on that it's going to bring you this very window from here you can select one of the voiceovers you want to use when you click here to preview it's going to show you exactly how it sounds like welcome to creating voiceovers welcome to creating voiceovers so far i kind of like serious mill 3 that's my favorite so i'm going to select that then on this side if you want the duration to be all the way up to 10 minutes this is really great and it's absolutely free you can select that i'm gonna go for just one minute then i can click on create so it's ready it's gonna take you to this very window from here you can play and check and see how it looks what like what did roman soldiers eat so when you think of ancient romans this is really cool then if you want to correct some of the scripts you created all you have to do is just select it and rewrite it right on this side so you can click on it and click on improve it and it's going to create a new script for you from here you can click on replace it's going to replace on that very side then what you have to do is click on this to update the voiceover since you've created a new script just click on that it's going to add and regenerate the voiceover for that very spot and now it's done perfectly you can play and listen to it what kind of food did roman soldiers munch on then next to it if you want to replace some of the images it generated you can click on that it's going to take you to this window on this side we have the ai image it was created from that you can select that and generate a new one or you can go to the stock media that comes with cup card and also you can go to your media and upload your media yourself if you have something downloaded on your pc i'm going to skip that since this is supposed to be an instant video i want to create so let's just close that if you want to trim it to very simple you can trim on this side and also if you want to delete you can delete that then when you go to this side click on the scenes we're going to maintain the voiceovers that we have then you can go to media exactly what i showed you you can create and generate the media if you're not happy with what it generated then when you go to element this is where you can change the captions i'm not really happy with this kind of caption so i can go to this one my favorite click on that and it's going to add it right on that side then when you go to music if you want to add the music before you export very simple click there then you can go to recommend and you can click and select one of the music when you click on the plus sign it's going to add when you look at the top here it's going to add the music to the whole videos 
And then when you play and listen to it. What kind of food did Roman soldiers munch on? Within a few minutes, you are done with this. So when you're happy with it, or if you're not happy with it, you can click on edit more. I'll be showing you guys on that very side. That's where if you want to take it to the next level. This is supposed to be an instant quick video you want to export. Then you can click on export, change the frame rate if you want to change it. The resolution, you can go all the way to 4K. Then you can change the name that you want to name it and then export to your computer. This is like having personal assistant right next to you. So when you click on that brainstorm with AI, this is really insane. So we're going to put in a topic. I want to know what it takes to be a pro football player. That's my topic. I want to brainstorm with AI. Then click on this side. It's going to bring you to this window. It's going to generate some few topics that we can start from. When you look here, you can zoom in and zoom out. This is the idea we input and it creates these very ones for us. If you want more, if you're not happy with the ones you created, you can click on generate more. It's going to give you more options. Then this is what makes it really powerful. When you like one of the points, let's just say I like this very point. You can click on the pick. It's going to add to this key point right on this very side. So you can add as many as you want. So let's just say I like this one too. I can click and it's going to drop on that side. Now look carefully. If you want to go really deep into that, you can click on explore and it's going to create more points right from this very main, giving you more options to choose from. If you want to do the same with this, you can click on that and it's going to give you more options under that main key point. And once again, if you want to create more under this, you can click on generate more and it's going to generate more options for you. Now check this out. It comes with a source link too. So if you want to go deep and check the source yourself, you can click on it and it's going to open that window. Exactly the article that it picks that very point from. This is really powerful. From here, you can do your research and go deep into it. So let me go back and show you. All of them are going to come with the source link that you can go directly and check yourself before making the video. So on this side too, if I want to add these points to it, I can click and it's going to add on that very side. Then if I want to explore more on that very point, I can click and it's going to create more for me. When you look at it, you can go deep, deep, deep into it. When you're happy with the point, all you have to do is click on generate scripts and it's going to take you to this very window. From here, you can select the duration you want to go for. I want to go for just one minute and you can add more requirements to it. So let's say if you want it to be fast paced, energetic or casual, you can type on this very side. Then you can click on generate. So if you remember carefully from the first one, it takes us right to that side. From here, if you're happy with the script, you can just click on use or if you want to regenerate, you can create again. I'm happy with it. So I'm just going to click on use. Then this is where I want to add the voiceovers or the avatar. So when you go to scenes, click on that, we can select one of the voiceovers. I don't want to use avatar for this. I just want voiceover. So I can click on voice and right here, it's going to give us the voices we can select from. When you click on this, it's going to add to your favorites. Let me show you my favorites. When you go there, these two are my favorites so far. So I can select this. Then on this side, I'm going to turn on auto split script. And I'm going to click on apply to all the scenes and it's going to add the voiceovers to all the scenes. Now it's ready. You can play and check and listen to how it sounds like. How do pro football players train? If you're not happy with the script, once again, you can select and rewrite the script as we did earlier on. Now we're going to add our media to it. Just click on media. On this side, I don't use the generate AI media. It's going to generate all the images. I want videos. So I'm going to go straight to match stock media. This side is when you have your videos yourself and you want to match to the script, which I'm not going to do that. I want to get stock media from CapCut. So just click on match. It's going to select the stock media that match exactly your script and it's going to generate those videos for you. Now it's ready. It generated these very videos when you play and look. Uh, it's how do pro football players train 
So when you're not happy with it, once again, just like this, I'm not really happy. It's golf. I want it to be football. I can click on replace, go to stock media, and I can type in football players. It's going to bring me some options that I can choose from. So with this, I can select this very one and click on that. Then I can select exactly the duration that I want and trim it. I'm happy with this. So I'm just going to go with done and it's going to replace right on that spot. Then we can go to element. I don't like the captions most of the time that it comes with. So I can choose my favorite caption and then I can go to music go to recommend and add the music this is my favorite click on the plus sign it's going to add to all the video then once again when you're happy with it you can go to export and export your video to your computer next is avatar video just click on that and it's going to take you to this very side so i've been trying to create my own avatar and it's been having some issues so far it's not been working but i'll keep trying then when you come down here they have some that you can choose right from you can scroll to this side and select one of them so far i kind of like this very gentleman if you want to preview just click on that hey Good to see you. And it's going to show you how it's going to look like. Then when you come down here, as we did earlier on, you can put in some topic here and the AI is going to generate the script for you. Or you can bring in your script, click on this side and bring in your script from ChatGPT and paste it here. I'm going to go for generate scripts and I'm going to talk about how to make money. Then I can choose my voiceover on this very side. So I want it to be my favorite. That's Sirius Mill 3. Select that. And also the duration, I want it to be just one minute. From here, I can click on create. Now it's ready. It's going to take us to this very window as we've been doing so far. You can play and listen to it. I'm going to tell you how to make money. If you're not happy with the script, once again, remember, you can select that very spot and rewrite everything. Then if you want to be adding media to it, it comes without any media it's just the avatar video it created for you if you want to add the media you can go to scenes go to media and start adding it right on this very side but mostly with avatar videos i'm just going to leave it just like that then when you go to elements i can change the caption once again and also go to music and add music and go to export export the video to my computer now the next one is matching your media to the script. When you click on that, this is when you have your own video that you want to match your script to the video. You can bring in that video, put in your script on this side and it's going to match to that very video. So with the AI template, this is super quick. If you want a quick, fast video to post, they have more options on this side. You can scroll through it and look at how it looks like. Then if you like it, you can click on that. It mostly comes with avatar and also voiceovers. For instance, this is an avatar video. So when you click on it, it's going to give you all these options when it comes to the avatar you want to use. So I want to use this very much. So I'm going to select that. Then this is the interesting part. You can put in just one word. So with this, I want to know Apple's success secret. So I can type in Apple. And then once again, remember we've selected the avatar. So I can click on create. It's ready. It's going to bring us to this very window once again. And this time around, it's going to add the music too. As I said, this is when you want super quick video you want to post right away. So you can just play and listen to it and check the script too. I wish I knew this when I was young. Then when you're happy with it, you can just go to export, put in the name that you want to use, select the resolution and then the frame rate. Then you can export the video to your computer. Now let me show you exactly how I created the video you saw in the intro part. So with that one, we're going to click on new project and we're going to start everything from scratch. On this side, you can and click here if you have your script already and paste it on that side but i want to create with ai so i can click on that and it's going to open up this very window for me so you can put in your topic that you want so with my i can go for content creation then you can put in some keywords that you want it to create from you with my i want the key points to be exactly this how to be consistent and all this one then you can select the duration you can go for five minutes ten minutes i want this to be one minute then decide when you click on it if you have a youtube video that you want to mimic the style you can copy the transcript and paste on this side and it's going to mimic that very writing style also when you go to require 
comment. If you want it to be more engaging or energetic, you can put it on this side. Let me just type in energetic. Then you can click on create. It's going to create the script for you. You can go through it. If you're not happy with it, you can create a new one. If you're happy, you can click on use. Now we can go to scenes and this is where we're going to add our voiceover to it. This time around, I don't want to use avatar. I just want a voiceover with this video. So I'm going to select that. Then you can select one of the voiceovers you want to use. I will go straight to favorites and select the one that I want to use. So I want to use this very one, my favorite. Then down here, as we did earlier on, make sure auto split is turned on and then click on apply to all scenes. It's ready. You can play and check and see if you like it. I started a channel a year ago. Now the next thing, we're going to bring in our media files. Just click on media. This side, once again, as I told you, when you click on it, it's just going to be images. I want videos. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to select match stock media. So I can click on match. So this is what it generated with the videos. I can play and check and see how it looks like. A year ago. I kicked off my channel and guess what? Once again, if you're not happy, remember you can replace the images or the videos on this very side. Also, you can trim and delete it on this very spot. Then the next thing, I'm going to change the captions. I always don't like the captions that comes with. I'm going to go with my favorite. I'm going to select this. Then the next thing, we're going to add music to it. Just go to music. I'm going to go for recommend my favorite once again and click on the plus sign. And it's going to add to the whole videos. Now, this is where we take it to the next level. When you click on edit more, it's going to take you to the editing page. So this side is when you want to take it to a whole new level and make it your own. So with this, let's say the intro, I want to add a bit of zoom into it. I can click on that and go to transform, add to scale. Then I can take my player to somewhere here go to skill and zoom in a bit and it's going to add second keyframe to it so now when you play a year ago i kicked off my channel and guess what i just hit 100k subscriber it's going to have this slow zoom into it also if you want to add some sound effects and all that you can do it right on this very spot and make it your own then from here when you're happy with it you can go to export it's going to bring you this window then we can click on download change the name if you want to change the resolution we can go all the way up to 4k select that change the frame rate and also the format and export the video to your computer now if you want to edit like a pro using the desktop version i already made a course on that you can check the link below catch you guys in the next one Peace.